Hey everybody, it's me Vic. I hope you all are doing well. I know it's been a while since I made a video, but we're going to talk about Stream Deck Plus as well as Stream Deck um, or Stream Deck XL. Um, it's going to be really awesome. And uh, I'm started here because we're going to talk about controlling the key lights today. All right, let's get started here. Yeah, I know I made my so I have, this is for my recording, and then I have two Stream Decks here. So as you can see right here, the Stream Deck Plus and the Stream Deck XL. Um, help that a bit. I've been having trouble with my tripod where the little thing comes into the side, so <laughs> you have to excuse me. I'm still working on like doing the whole Epic Cam Pro type thing. I don't usually do this, so it's like having a tripod right here. I'm like afraid to bump into it. Anyways, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is talk about setting up the profile on your Stream Deck, your regular Stream Deck, whether it's the Stream Deck, Stream Deck XL, um, even the Stream Deck Mini or the Stream Deck Mobile, you can do this. So first thing that I'm going to do is go to profiles. Now you're going to notice I have a lot of different profiles now, right? I didn't have that before. I used to have a demo one. I don't do that anymore. So we're going to call this one, go rename. We're going to call this lights. Now, I already have my lights set up, so I don't have to do this again for myself. But just for video's sake, we're going to go to lights, the profile we just created. All right. So over here, as you can see in the new update from Nolgato, um, and this was the one where they introduced the Stream Deck Plus, um, we're going to actually talk about lights. So what we need to do is look for control center right here. First thing you want to be able to do is turn your lights on and off. So for me, the on and off button always defaults to my ring light for some reason. But you can come down here and change that to all. Change it to your configurations. I've already renamed my key lights, so I have them as left or right. Now, I do want to make a disclaimer in this video. In order for your key lights to work, you do have to have a 2.4 Wi-Fi network, um, and that's gigahertz. If you have a backwards compatible router that will automatically do it for you, and it's not picking up, you want to make sure that you do enable 2.4 gigahertz. Um, without Wi-Fi, these lights will not work. Um, if your computer is not on the same network as your, your Wi-Fi, then it's not going to work either. So you want to make sure that your LAN and your Wi-Fi are on the same network in order to control your Stream Deck lights on your actual Stream Deck um, through your, I want to say, PC um, or software is probably a better word I want to use. All right, so we're going to do our left light right here. I'm going to copy the on and off button for my right light and again for my ring light. All righty, now I can create one more button and I can do that to turn all of them on or off. Now you can also, if you would prefer to turn them on at the same time, create a multi-action switch. And this is gonna be this one right here. So you could do the, essentially the same thing where you can turn on your lights, right? So for me, I usually use my left, right. I mean, my, my left and right, my left and right light. Oh my God, I can't speak today, y'all. Uh -huh. All right, that's staying in the video, by the way. And then we're going to use our right. So these are going to turn on, right? Well, I also want them to turn off when I push the button again. And you're going to see me go dark and spooky for a second. But we're going to come here. We're going to change it to off if we're doing a multi-action. So that's our left light. And this is our right light. I don't, I rarely use the ring light unless like I'm doing an unboxing video, which we'll probably do one in the future. But to demonstrate the multi-action I just created here. That percentage. All right, so this is the multi-action we just created. So the lights are gonna turn on and off. That's to turn them on. And that's to turn them off. Now I could also just do that with the push of a button here. Push of a button there. If I wanted to, I could turn my ring light on back there. Oh. What button was this? Oh, <laughs> I didn't change it. Okay, here we go. Now I can turn on my ring light, which gives me more light in the back there, which we don't really need right now. 
I don't need that backlight. I could use it, but look how overexposed everything is and then my hair starts to look orange and my hair is not orange, my hair is brown. Okay, so we've got that set up, right? Now the next thing that we wanna do is we wanna be able to control temperatures. So we can go to adjust temperature. Now this one always starts with the ring light as I mentioned. So we're gonna copy it again. And this time we want, we want it to go from cool to warm. So from here, we're gonna do a negative. And from here, we're gonna do a positive. I did them backwards. But the, the positive is gonna be cooler. The negative is gonna be warmer. So if you look here, these little stars, this looks like the sun, this looks like icicles or snowflake. So that's cool and warm. Now we can copy this. And I always do mine at 50 because it's just easier to control on a stream deck. And then I come here and change this one to the right. And I come here and change this one to the right. And we're gonna rinse and repeat the same thing here. Right? And we're gonna change this one to our left. I don't know why I copied that. <laughs> but all right, so the next thing we're gonna do is adjust our brightness. So this is to make the lights dim or, or brighter. And I do the exact same thing. I'm gonna do a positive one. I'm gonna copy here and I'm gonna put a positive or a negative one. So from dim to bright, except we're gonna change this to our left because these are the lights at the top here. We're gonna copy and paste and do the same thing for our right. Now, once you do this, I don't have a um, one of those Elgato RGB strips, so I can't do a video on it, but uh, this essentially would be the same thing. And then there's one to adjust, where is it? Uh, set the color for Elgato, but I don't have that device, so I can't demonstrate it. All right, so let's go ahead and finish up here for our, our ring lights. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, which one are we on? Here we go. All right, so now our ring lights are set up, right? Our warmer, cooler, as you can see, it's all working. We can go dim, we can go bright. That was actually my left light, which looks like the right side to the wall. All right, so we are now done with Stream Deck. And I like my profile set up this way for the lighting. As you can see, it makes it a lot easier. Now I'm just gonna leave this profile here. I don't need to worry about changing anything, but we are gonna go to the Stream Deck Plus. And what I'm gonna do is create a new page just for demonstration purposes, because I have everything set up here the way that I want, because my lights are already right here. But we're gonna talk about dials, because most people, and I'm gonna move this over here for now, most people, like the ergonomics and the controls of a dial to dim or, and, and I'm doing this with my hand, but I mean to rotate something to dim it or turn it on or push a button to turn it on or off or tap, right? So same thing, we're gonna come here to adjust brightness, but the first thing we wanna do is we wanna create a dial, dial stack. stack. Oh my God, I can't speak today. <laughs> Y'all are gonna watch this and laugh at me and be like, what's going on with you? Um, honestly, I've just been so busy with work and I love what I'm doing, but um, it's just a matter of getting back in the momentum of doing some content. I promise you the next video will be much better without my little blooper moment. Okay, so we're gonna right click and do a dial stack. We're gonna create one. And from here, we're gonna go ahead and click on adjust brightness because we wanna do that. And I only do this for my left and for my right one because again, I don't really use my ring light unless I absolutely have to. But it is nice to have it here just in case, right? So what I'm gonna do is rinse and repeat. But I also like to control the bright, the temperature. So I'm gonna actually throw one of these in here. So the first one I'm gonna do is my left and I'm gonna have it do it by 1% because that's the options that it gives me. And I'm gonna do the same thing with my left light for temperature. And the lowest that it gives me is 50. 
Okay. And then we're going to switch to our right light. And we're going to do the 1% again. And uh, I meant to do the temp. So the reason why I do them in this order is because it's a lot easier to cycle through them and have left, left, right, right. Um, we're going to go ahead and select that. So here's the cool thing. As you can see right now, it says we're on our left light. So if I tap this, it turns the light on and off. The cool thing is when we do this, we're changing the lighting. As you can see, it's getting darker on the right. Now we can go ahead and push the button again, and then it tells you where your lighting temperature is. So if I wanted to go, let's just say a bit on the warmer side, you're gonna see that it looks warmer. Now you're able to see this real time. I'm showing you this here on the dials that I'm just turning this stuff and it's doing it. Alrighty, so the other cool thing is with the temperature, you can also tap it to turn it on and off. That's a really cool feature. So no matter if you're like, oh, I forgot to turn on my light, but I changed the temperature. You can just tap it to turn it on or tap it to turn it off, whether you're on your adjust brightness or adjust uh, adjust temperature. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, I need a nap, y'all. Actually, I need to go to bed, but that's okay. So now we're going to cycle to our right light. And we're going to do the same thing. Tap to turn on and tap to turn, well, tap to turn off, tap to turn on. I'm a little backwards right now. But same thing, we can change the brightness and look, I look overexposed. Now we can push the button again and we can change the temperature as well. So this is going to be, my right light is always gonna be directly in front of me just because of the angle that I'm in. Whereas the left light is a little bit more on the back side of me, which is really strange because I'm like right in the middle, right? But that's just how lighting works sometimes. So as long as you know where you're placing things, um, it makes sense. So, you know, everybody's setup on lighting is very different. Like my two key lights are directly in front of me. They're on the uh, clamps and they're very high up. So they shed light on me. I used to have them bouncing off the wall, but I have two creatures, sugar gliders, Gizmo and Yeti, who live in my office. And uh, they don't like bright lights. Think of the Mogwai from Gremlins. Gizmo, they're like that. They do not like bright lights. Anyway. And they're also nocturnal creatures, so they like camouflage at night. So what we're going to do right now is we're changing it to be cooler, and then we're changing it to be warmer. So that's a really neat feature, and it does the same thing with the ring light. Um, I wouldn't know, again, about the light strips because I don't have one, um, but that's okay. Maybe I'll buy a light strip in the future just so that way I can use it for the background or something. I, I don't need it. I'm going to have a nice neon sign right here. Do that. Neon sign right there. Oh, it doesn't flicker. That is so awesome. Okay. Back to the video, right? Back to the subject. So that's how you're going to be able to set up your lights directly on the Stream Deck Plus. It's so much easier and less work to do when it comes to um, doing it on Stream Deck Plus because you have the dials and the touch screen as opposed to the Stream Deck, Deck XL right here where we have to go to create each particular button. So Elgato has made it simpler with the Stream Deck Plus. I hope that it concludes how to configure your lighting and the explanation about Wi-Fi requirements for the lighting. I know a lot of people have issues trying to get their lighting set up with their PCs and you have to be on the same network and the Wi-Fi has to be 2.4 or you have to have a router that is capable of 2.4 backwards compatible and you want to enable that on your router. Some routers are automatic. Um, the one that I currently have is a Google Nest Pro and an unmanaged, uh, what is it, gigabit switch um, and uh it works great. I don't have to configure anything. I just went into Google Home, set it up, and it works. But uh, thank you for watching. Y'all have a nice night.